you know, having devotions in the morning has changed my life. I, Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Full Circle Ozarks. Um, we are out here in about, I don't know, a thousand percent humidity <laughs> but, early in the morning. But as you saw earlier, we had went and got a log. We called it the surprise log, and we were going to mill it into a temporary mantle, and you saw what that turned out. So we went and grabbed a walnut log, black walnut. Black walnut, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And we didn't go through the video and of sawing it up again, but you saw where we were drilling the holes. And when we get in the house to put it back up, we will kind of show you what those holes were for. But anyway, here is the results of that. And again, it's just a temporary. So we're going to stain it and put a little coat of, I think put one coat of polyurethane or. Yeah, I yeah. We, maybe a satin. We don't want anything shiny. No. Either. No. But but again, just we're only doing that to help prevent some of the checking and cracking. Uh, again, as uh, Wifey said, this is still a temporary mantle. We have a red oak log that uh, we have drying that will be become our permanent mantle. Yeah. But we just wanted something up temporarily, and who yeah. knows? Once we put it up, if we like it, we like it. So yeah. So we'll yeah. we'll take a take a few clips of uh, once we get it up. If give us thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you like the black walnut? Uh, we'll, and we, we may or may not keep it. What will determine part of it is how much checking will occur. This black walnut has been on the ground for a little over two years. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how much checking is going to happen on it. Sometimes the checking will just give it a little bit of character. But uh, but anyway, yeah. we're going to, i got just a little bit more sanding to do. Then we're going to wipe it down and put some stain on it. So hope you enjoy. Well, I'm not into the man glitter, so I'm going to step back. <laughs> you don't like man glitter, huh? I don't. Okay. looking very nicely. Ooh, that is smooth. Yeah.
That's looking very, very nice. Mm -hmm. We'll get, get you a close-up shot of that in just a moment. And as you can see here, here's where I got the holes drilled out. And we'll show you how that works. This part right here is going to be back embedded into the fireplace, so we'll never be able to see that. This will be the bottom here. We'll do that a little bit more and get it sanded. Sander kind of grabbed hold there and almost pulled me over. <laughs> <laughs> And again, we're not, I'm not trying to take all this out because this will kind of add character or part of our theme is just a country house. And so we want some of the character left in it. So do you have a chain? What kind of a chain? Well, I've saw on TV, I, I don't know how it works, that after they get these all pretty and smooth, they take a chain and they beat it to make it look <laughs> real rustic. We don't, want, we don't want that much character. <laughs> I like it. Good. I think we need to wipe it down a little bit and we'll put some stain probably on this area right here just to make sure that the stain is what we're really looking for. Let me sand this just a little bit. That 
will be a perfect test spot here to test our stain to make sure we like what we see there. So we got two different stains that we're going to going to try. This right here is a Old Masters gel stain. So I'm going to try it on this area right here. And Wifey is going to try. What kind do you have there? I've got red oak. You got red oak? Uh-huh. From Menwax. Okay. So this is American walnut. So so anyway, we're going to try it on this area right here and see see how we like it. Again, this is a gel stain. And this is the back side. So it's a good place to test it at. Matter of fact, we probably should just do this entire back side just to help it from checking and cracking. And then we'll decide. You know what you do with old drawers? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. Uh -huh. I never know where she's going to something. <laughs> She's like Cracker Jack. She's always got a surprise somewhere. <laughs> for those that have known Wifey for a long time, you understand what I'm saying. If y'all can, if y'all can think of a couple of things that Wifey has surprised you with, leave us a comment. Tell us about it, so our other viewers can see it. Has to be in good taste, though. Well, I've never done anything that ain't in good taste. Right? Not that I, not that I know of. Mm -hmm. Done, just waiting on you. I think I'll put a little more on this one. a little bit on the end. Uh-uh. It will be hidden. You know, wipe it off. Let this soak just for a moment. See what I like about it. I'll put this stain here up here so I don't spill it. Here, I got one right here. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get a, a close-up of this now. Mm-hmm. Hmm. See, this still letting some a little bit of the whiteness on the uh, of the wood come through, but we'll have to decide. Let's do a close up of it and see what they see what they think. You trying to make yours, uh, you, you got yours bleeding over here, sweetheart, on the. Dang. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, let's take a quick look here. This is the gel stain on this end. And here is Wifey stain. Red oak. Red oak. So, all right. Which one should we use, folks? The hmm. gel stain? The gel stain or? The dark walnut the dark or the red walnut. oak? Dark so. walnut, red oak. In all fairness, folks, those that know me know that I'm colorblind. And 
I mean, I can see the different shades of this, so I'm not the best one to choose. So I'm gonna have Wifey to choose and she can select which color that she wants. So here's my dilemma. Where it's in the white spot, spot. Mm -hmm. I don't like that really reddish color that's coming out. Mm -hmm. I love this part. And then over here, I kind of like the lighter part, but that's almost too dark, too brown. So to me, it's a toss up. I think if I would have wiped this down, this wouldn't have been hardly as dark. I think I like this, I'll be honest, I like this one, but, I, but again, it's a temporary mantle, so. Okay, we'll go with yours. You sure? Yep, if I don't like it, you have to build another one. <laughs> well, again, this is temporary, so, yeah. okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and lay it down. Uh-oh, okay. uh-oh. Uh, what? I think I, oh. let's, let's do this side here then, okay. and uh, we'll go from there. So we're gonna get to staining this. Once we get it stained, we'll, we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, let me tell you what we're doing now. If you remember, we were drilling holes in the mantle, and uh, that was for three quarter inch black steel pipe. I've attached these uh, brackets here. So uh, I've got pieces of pipe now that we're gonna screw on here, and then we'll be ready to put the mantle on. So I've got those laying right over here somewhere. Here's one. Okay, so that's what's gonna, gonna hold the mantle up. Once it's slid in, then there's a couple of screws that's kind of will be hidden that will go in here and just make sure it doesn't ever slide off. But it also makes it easy to replace when I get ready to, to put a final mantle if we decide we don't like the black walnut. And again, uh, that black walnut, uh, it's not totally dry, so it may, it may crack and check but uh, I drilled the holes in the black walnut just a little bit bigger than these pipes here to give it enough room to, uh, to move around if it needs to just a little bit. So anyway, we, got, uh, we did get the stain on. We're waiting for that to dry. And then uh, we may put a, a coat of poly uh, on that and then we'll be ready to put the mantle up. So stay tuned. How do you know what, how to put those black pipes up and all? Who just do that at? Uh, just in a dream one night. <laughs> in your mind. Yeah. No, I, I actually have been thinking about this and, you know, different ways to mount the mantles. And uh, I knew the red oak was going to be quite heavy. So what, what we've done even before the rock got put up and this OSB was put up, we had uh, some 2 by 12s framed in at, at the very back. So this right here is very, very stout, this wall here. So it built, we built it very stout to handle a very heavy mantle in, this, in case we decided to go longer or whatever. But after looking at everything, that was the size that we felt that we liked. So that's what we're doing. And again, when you're building, there's a lot of things that we do. It's, it's not our right way or wrong way. It's just what, what we wanted. And so that's what we're doing here. So. So anyway, we'll uh, let that mantle dry and we'll get it put back up. Let's see, that is the top right here. So, we need to switch ends as we go, right? Let's see here, let me think. It needs, yeah, you just go in first. Okay. 
You want that over there? It don't make any difference right now. We're just gonna, I think we'll just, <laughs> we'll just <laughs> set it here and put it on these. Okay. Are you ready? ready? Yep. Mine's in good. Hmm? Mine's in good. Okay, can you hold it just for I a second? I got it. Hmm. I'm gonna swap in just a little bit. Got it. I don't think it's going anywhere. I don't think it is either. So this is our temporary mantle. We went ahead and used black walnut stain, a gel stain. And uh, we'll see if we like it enough to be permanent. If we don't, yeah. we'll just go get another one. I'm really yeah. partial to the red oak. Yeah. And again, I have the red oak already milled. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, it just needs to dry more so we can preserve it. So, so anyway, we took a chance on this black walnut, it had been down for a few years yeah. already. Yeah, a couple so, of years. So, uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. We may still get some checks and cracks in it, and some yeah. will be fine. You yeah. know, that's, that's the, sure. that will just actually provide character, so. And the brown matches our leather sofa. You know, yeah. that'll kind of bring it together, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. So, there you have it. But, so... Today we got this done, we got the kitchen light installed, we got the stove working. Uh, oh, we're I am so hungry. I think we ought to call it a day. I'm, I'm tired also. Okay, let's do that then. You guys, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to Full Circle Ozarks and share it and like it and comment. And I wanna thank everyone for the comments that wifey needs a pool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. We'll see you next time.